Welcome back to another video in our series with Ecamm Live. In this video, we're going to be looking at multi-streaming. Now, first of all, what is multi-streaming? This allows us to go live to multiple channels at the same time. So I could do a live broadcast and it can be going out to Facebook, to a business page, to one of my groups. It could be going out to YouTube. It could go to Periscope and to Twitch and to all these other accounts that I'm gonna show you in a minute. So it's a fantastic tool if you've got multiple channels and don't know where to go live. Why don't you go live to all of them at once? Now the two options that you have down here, you can see on the destination, Restream and Switchboard Live. Personally, I prefer Restream. I think it's a much nicer navigation. The control panel's better. So I'm gonna take you through that. If you've got Switchboard Live, it's pretty much the same setup. Now, these are both third-party extensions, so you need to set up an account with them first and then come back in here. So if I click down here to Restream, uh, it asks me to log in. If I don't have details for that, then when I come back here, it says more info and it takes me off over to Restream. Now, I've already got an account with them. You would just simply need to go in, register. I believe it's $19 a month at the minute. There is a free option, but it only allows you to go to your personal profile. So why don't you try it for a month, see how you get on. If you're not happy, you can just cancel the thing. I have just put a link to Restream in the description below so you can click on that and head straight over. And then when you get in here, this is the main dashboard and it will ask you, see I've already got several accounts set up. I've got my Facebook page, I've got one of my Facebook groups and I've got my YouTube account. But it says on here to add a channel, if you just go with their free package, you get these options from the top. The ones at the bottom are for the paid plan. So you're not gonna be able to go to a Facebook group or a business profile without paying. So if I want from this to go live to one of my Facebook groups, it asks me to connect to Facebook. And then it says, do I wanna to stream to my personal profile? Or do I wanna pick my page? Or do I wanna choose one of my groups? Now, let me just pick uh, YouTube Academy. Let's go, let's add that one to the group. And I click save on here. It says on here that Facebook groups require the Restream application to be added to that group. So what it's saying is that Facebook needs permission to use Restream. So let's just click on that. I'll show you what happens and it's asking me, add this app to the group. Am I happy that Restream wants to see the posts and the comments in the groups? No problem at all. Click on add, click on done. Come back over here, and as you can see, it's now added my YouTube Academy members group. So I can choose when I want to go live, do I wanna to go to all of these at the same time, or maybe sometimes I just wanna to go to YouTube and then off to my page. So I just untick these two, I don't want it to go to the groups, I want it to go out to YouTube and to my Facebook page. And then I choose a title, because I can't put a title into Ecamm. We'll just put test live, update all, and look, it's just changed all of those down here. And that's all I need to do. Now I head back into Ecamm, I can log in. Then it's just asking to authorize this. And like the others, it just says get started. So now when I go live on here, because I've set everything up on this page with my test live titles, I come back to Ecamm Live and when I say go live, it's then gonna go out and it's gonna broadcast to the two channels and the comments from both of those channels will appear down here uh, and it will just show me the little icon to say whether it's come from YouTube or Facebook and I can see that. Now Restream was in a beta mode of bringing the text in so that if someone comments on YouTube then the guys that are on Facebook can also see that comment. As I record this it's a little bit glitchy and some of the channels work and some of them don't but I'm really confident that it'll be up and running soon. What a great feature. So if someone's sitting on their own over in a Facebook group and everyone else is on the YouTube channel and you're saying, hey, good comment, Pete, then the chap over there in YouTube's going, ah, oh, I can see the chat coming here and doesn't feel out of it. So I really hope that will be up and running real soon. So there you go, you run your live as you would do normally, using your scenes, dropping your images in, sharing your screen, whatever you wanna do, but it's multi-streaming out to two channels or more than that, at once. Now we couldn't leave this without having a go at it. So we're gonna jump over to Restream and uh, I've set this up so it's gonna go out to my YouTube channel. It's gonna go out to my page. Let's just double check that that's that and not me. Uh, yeah, Adrian Salisbury HQ. I've done this before and I've actually gone out to my personal profile instead of out to the business page. Uh, and we're going into the Ecamm Live community group. Uh, now, we're just testing out really because 
uh, we've, I've done sometimes into groups and the chat comes in fine. We just did this a minute ago and no chat came through from the Facebook group. Uh, so let's have a look. YouTube I know works, page I know works. We're trying it out really. We're in this kind of glitchy stage at the minute where um, Restream, Restream is trying to put this together. So I can turn off the groups that I don't want to go into and uh, I'm leaving on the groups that we are going into. I then change the title put this in again and I'm going to say, um, actually let's just put take two. That'd uh, be amusing for the guys that were on first time around. Okay, update all. So there we go, that's the title that's now gone out into these. Back to my dashboard just to confirm and double check, yes, YouTube, Facebook page and community group. Uh, so now I come back over to Ecamm and you can see it's still got my feed in from last time. We're going to say go live. I've got a chat window open down here from Restream. This is a, a, a desktop app that I can do. So at the top here, hopefully as we see people arriving, there's nobody on at the minute. Uh, guys, I should just introduce myself. So as you can see then, so Katie's on, uh, Annette's on, good afternoon. Let me just bring in your comments. Good to see you on here, guys. Um, Katie's on, brilliant. Um, so, is this all coming in from YouTube? I've got three eyes on at the minute. I'd love to know if anybody is on, on Facebook. Can those of you that are on YouTube see the comments that are being made from Facebook? Um, Laurie, are you seeing comments on the Facebook page that are coming from YouTube? Because these should all talk together, but sadly I can't test this without actually going live and having a go. So, great to have you on here and see this. Roses, uh, YouTube, yes, you see the face Facebook comments, thank you. Tanya's on YouTube, well done Tanya, you found yourself. Um, so if I come over into the group, is anything happening over here? This is my take two, um, three comments. Bradley's on, Katie's on from here. So I can see it on the group, but I am not seeing that being pulled in then, interesting. Laurie doesn't think then that you can see the YouTube's coming into Facebook. Don't think the group comments. Um, but YouTube, you're seeing the comments coming across from Facebook, yeah? So it's all a bit over the place at the minute. It's a great idea, it would be lovely to do. Uh, I like the idea that those of you on YouTube can be chatting to those of you on the on the page and the group and you know, somebody asks a comment, the other one can come back and say, yeah, I was just gonna say that, rather than it being segmented. It really needs for this to work. Um, but I think we're at early days with this and I'm really excited about it. Um, so Katie's just confirming they're coming through on YouTube but not the other way around. What a shame. Uh, but thank you so much, all of you, and uh, I'll see you in another video real soon. So there you go, that was a demonstration of that, of how that can work. Uh, it's a wonderful way to keep a chat going with uh, different groups, pages. Sadly, the feed wasn't coming in from the group, um, but probably by the time you're watching this, that will be ironed out. But Restream really are leading the way with this. I'm sure there are endless technical problems and security issues dealing with Facebook and the likes. Um, but yeah, you know, stick with it, this is really good. And certainly if you're typically, typically live streaming, you're doing it out to a page rather than a group anyway, because from a page uh, you can share it, people can see it, it's way easier to promote it rather than being in a group that they need to subscribe to first. Um, so absolutely with a page and with YouTube, that's what I do most of my uh, live streams to, uh, this works really well. So that's Restream. In the next video, I want to show you how to see and use comments within your live videos.